Okay, so sorry, sorry, real quick. I was wondering if you guys could do a chill pick with me. Um, basically, a chill pick, this will be number 95. You put a peace sign over your heart, your chin down, and your eyes up, and give the duck face. Um, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to face everybody, and I hope everyone will do it with me. Um, okay, hold on. This is for my mom. Seriously, there's hundreds of these online. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Thank you very much. Okay, here we go. Okay, guys, come on. Chill. There we go. <laughs> cool. Thank you very much. Wow. All right. Oh, we're going. All right. Here we cool. Go. My name's Hunter. And I'm Ruben Fressman, and we run an organization called Swings Tampa Bay. It's a spontaneous community building organization. We hang handmade, hand painted swings all over Tampa Bay in the middle of the night. And when I say all over, I mean all over. We hang them on buildings, inside buildings, on trees, just about anything we can find. We also have sw uh, swing painting events. Anyone that wants to can get together and hand paint a swing for free, and then we'll go and hang it after. Um, when I say we hang swings, we hang them everywhere. We've hung them about here. Roughly, that's a general approximation. Swings are not only a playful pastime. They have a certain power to them, something that encourages immediate interaction between strangers that would have otherwise walked right past each other. They ask the person who sees it to break their daily routine and sit for a second, notice what's new. Think about something new for their day. It encourages an immediate spark in curiosity. What the hell is that thing doing on that tree? Where the hell did that thing come from? It asks the community to rethink about the environment that they think is so normal. It makes it so easy to share stories, ideas, and a set of arms to push each other. Hanging swings is pretty fun for us and everyone involved. This is actually our 100th swing. Number 100 right here. That was very fun. And we think hanging swings is an awesome way to let Tampa Bay know that we have the biggest crush on our hometown. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. But there's a reason these things are important, changing the environment, curiosity. When you're curious, it means you thrive for knowledge. You want to learn more. So when we change the environment, it helps people reconnect with their environment again. They're on this daily routine. They see this, and it's changed, and it helps them reconnect. They start to care more and realize what could be wrong with it. And it also gets people together. And when that happens, people share a purpose. They become more empowered. And when you care more about your environment and your surroundings and you have other people to help you, you're more encouraged to go ahead and make it better yourself. Fun. Where do I start? Fun. When people are having fun, there's no expectations. When there's no expectations, there's no fear of failure. And when there's no fear of failure, you can make quick decisions, quick solutions to big problems along the way. Oftentimes, we need to paint, drill, cut, and prime a hundred swings for let, Let's Paint Swings events. Uh, along the way, we've found out little processes to make it even quicker along the way. Um, I used to climb every single tree that we hung a swing off of. We found out a brick is a lot safer, a lot faster, and it lets us hang more swings more often. We also found out that when we're having fun, other people like having fun. And when other people have fun, they want to give us money to keep making fun happen. Yeah, dude. <laughs> so our Let's Paint Swings events have turned into a way to keep the organization sustainable. And Every time someone wants to take a, a swing home, instead of letting us hang it, they donate $20. And in return, that pays for us to buy enough rope to continue to hang swings all over the place. Swings started out as a really simple idea in a notebook. It was first executed on the campus of University of South Florida St. Petersburg with the idea that it would stop students from their daily grind to sit and interact with the people possibly going through the same things they are, finding a common ground on campus. So we brought it into public. Once it worked there, we tried it off a of beach drive on the Banyan Tree in downtown St. Petersburg. And within 30 seconds, we were amazed because people were pushing us out of the way, saying it was their <laughs> turn to swing on the swing that we just hung. <laughs> and when we hang during the day, that's what happens. And from there, we wanted to continue the idea. It cost about 5 to $10 per swing, mm -hmm. and we applied to the 10 100 1000 awards from Creative Tampa Bay. They liked the idea, wanted it to continue as well, and gave us the $1,000 to continue making it happen. And that's what kicked us off. Since then, we've hung 150 swings, or more now. We hung two in Mosey yesterday. Ooh. Mosey took one down. Where are you guys at? Come on. <laughs> the other one they haven't found yet. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 
but there's kids swinging on it before we were talking, so it works. <laughs> We've also had over a thousand swings painted at our Let's Paint Swings event, and there's about 700 still in our basement that we're working on painting. Um, and we've also had over 10 painting events that all have bring hundreds of people to them. Those are some of the swings oh, these are the slides in the, I forgot in the basement. To yeah. Those here's some of the cool swings. <laughs> and here's an example of some of the people painting. This is Michelle Royal doing the graphic art back Ooh, here. Michelle Royal! Awesome. Woo! Woo! Cool. Um, so the other cool thing that we've had is we've noticed not just swings changing a little area, but we've seen entire transformations take place. So here's a few examples. I think one of the best transformations that happened was at the Kapok tree in front of the Museum of Fine Arts in St. Petersburg, Florida. It was like a casual hangout spot. We hung four swings overnight, and every weekend from then on, it turned into a bustling playground where at any time, 40 or 50 people were talking with each other, were having a picnic, were pushing each other on swings. It was incredible. Transformations can happen in your backyard, like right behind you, like five feet from you. That's what this is. We walked right down the street to a cul-de-sac. Didn't really see much activity going on. We checked in with the swing a week later and we noticed that the entire block, every single kid on that block used the swing as a meetup spot. That was the jam. That's where you're supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> when I breathe into this, it's really loud and ominous. I apologize. Um, <laughs> At Eckerd College, we transformed student life by hanging over 20 swings, and now before and after class, instead of trudging along to take a test, you're stopping and talking with other students about, hey, we're all here on the same planet in the middle of space. What's going on? It worked. Now, some of the transformations we would never would have heard about, we get a lot of feedback sometimes from people. This is an example right here of a swing we hung on a completely overgrown, trashed out, vacant lot in downtown St. Petersburg. One of the only ones left, actually. We hung a swing there, and about two weeks later, the neighbors sent us this picture and said, well, we cleaned it up because the city wasn't getting to it, and your swing inspired us. So they transformed this entire block. You can see the trash and everything in the back there. They cleaned it up in, a, in two days and sent us these pictures. <laughs> so if you know lots that need inspiration, let us know. This is just an example from Eckerd. We found this on, um, on it's this Tumblr. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's pretty self-explanatory. If, if you can find it on Eckerd, it's a GIF. It's everyone moving around going like this, amazed. Oh but they get thousands of hits, and someone uploaded this saying they love every time they find a new swing. We also like collaborating with other nonprofits, and this is one of our favorite nonprofits we've collaborated, we've collaborated with. This is Creative Clay. And for those of you that don't know what Creative Clay does, they give the opportunity for artists with disabilities to be able to paint and have a gallery of their own. We gave them 75 swings and collaborated to let all of their artists hand paint those swings, and we had a three-month-long gallery show to help them raise money with those swings. We also hung a ton all over outside for people to play on for the grand opening. Gorilla shamels. What is that? Shamels is swings <laughs> in Dutch. I believe so. Is that <laughs> what they speak in Holland? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Well, we have Swings Holland now. We've gone international. These guys hooked us up, and they told us they wanted to start. We helped them out over Skype and over the phone and helped them get started hanging their own swings there. And they're starting to transform the community there, and they've already passed over 100 swings as well. This is an example of them, and this is uh, Chantal who started it, and we call it Let's Paint Swings, and she calls it Kamuk Verven. To each their own. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Let's Paint Swings is actually really powerful. Uh, it's awesome. It's a really incredible thing to watch. And an empty lot can be transformed into a collaborative art-making zone where strangers who may have not even had any experience with art are now talking about art, making art, sharing art, and bringing up ideas and stories along the way. So Let's Paint Swings has been our main like focus point for interaction between strangers. It's like a pop-up collaborative art zone. Yeah. We've, I mean, we've, we've had over 100 people painting at a time. It's, it's, it's incredible. And there are people that don't come for it. They're just like, oh, all right. <laughs> oh, this is one of my favorite swing spots. This is at Upham Beach. I don't know if you guys are too familiar with it, but there's erosion issues. And the whole place looks like a construction zone, or it did look like a construction zone with debris everywhere and metal and bags and all this crap. So there's this massive crane blocking the water. We went and hung a swing, added some levity to what seemed like a wasteland turn it into a playground. That was one of my favorites. And this was a uh, picture actually sent to us from the mother yeah. who found this a couple days later. It's okay, good clap, my God. 
I think, I think this is by far my, my favorite spot. Um, you haven't lived until you've swung 75 feet over cars going 75 miles an hour on 275. Yeah, dude. <laughs> we'll hang it again so you guys can try when you go home, because these keep getting taken down. I think we've hung six different swings here. The yeah, race love it. It's a good spot. We also found out that the city hangs these things called billboards all over just so we can put swings on them. It's wonderful. <laughs> it's wonderful. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> so this is one of my favorite stories. Um, we get invited often to hang swings permanently all over for the people that are really like, I like swings a lot. And Hunter used to climb trees. And he was up about 20 feet. This is an actual size drawing. Um, <laughs> And he got stuck. And he was there for about 25 minutes until luckily it was during the day and we were supposed to be there. We could find a ladder and get him down. Um, but after that, we kind of switched techniques. Uh, yeah, so no more tree climbing for me. Like I said, I'm a big fan of the brick. So the very first time we took the brick out, a brick attached to a big long piece of rope, it was in broad daylight, which is not our normal habitat. Normally we're out at night. It was in the middle of a median on Bayshore Boulevard with traffic whizzing by, and we got big time stage fright. We basically forgot how to tie all the knots that we studied on the internet for an hour before. So this swing took about 15 or 20 minutes to hang, whereas now we can knock one out in about under a minute and be out of there. So. <laughs> This is one of our uh, fan favorite swings. Um, this is in the Old Northeast in St. Petersburg. Uh, we've hung this, I think, four times now because it keeps getting taken down by somebody. But every time it does, we get like 15 to 20 emails of people saying, the swing's down, come put it back. <laughs> this is the only one that's happened to you. So this is definitely a huge favorite. We've also <laughs> never had this happen. Um, usually they just get cut down, but I was driving around one night and I found a barricade placed perfectly between the rope. Someone went to an effort for this, found a barricade, placed it between the rope over the swing. So I had to take that off, but I did think it was a funny little picture. If you're here right now, we're really, we're sorry, sort of. Um, during our Let's Paint Swings events, it's really cool, I'm really passionate about this, that these messages come through through our community, the people right next to you. Dream, love, believe, be the change you want to see in the world. and. Uh, what is the last one? Tadpoles, Tadpoles will, will rule. rule the world. Yes. <laughs> we also get this message all the time, and it's usually from older folks saying, you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> the swings painting events are our opportunity to connect with people. It's the opportunity to share stories like this with people when they're there. But we often get a message from people saying, oh, you just can't do that. You know, well, we do it, and it works, so I think we can. Why don't you think we can do it? And they never have an answer. They just say, you can't do it. So we keep doing it. <laughs> and people love it, because here's just a quick screenshot of some of our Facebook interactions. This keeps us motivated. How much people love, uh, love the uh, support we have here. Definitely. And some people are so hopelessly in love with this project, it's kind of creepy, that um, they want us to have permanent locations at their uh, venue to have that transformation change that happens so often in public. So shout outs to Free Fall Theater, Creative Loafing, Sweetwater Community Farm, Museum of Fine Arts St. Petersburg, and I studio, did I say Studio 620? You did now. Okay, there it is. <laughs> shout out again to Chantal. This is her swinging on what we thought was a beautiful picture of a swing in Holland. Um, she's seriously transforming the community in Holland there. They got tons of support. They don't care as much about liability there, so they get all of their rope and wood donated for free while we have to figure out ways to get it here. <laughs> Uh, this is another cool story about, uh, we hung this swing in downtown Tampa, and the whole time this dude was sitting on a bench not having any of it, didn't want to talk to us, didn't want to look at the swing, didn't want to swing on the swing. We finish, we walk away, turn around just for the hell of it, and there he is swinging, having the time of his life. So he lied to us, and we thought that was a funny story. He didn't want to admit it. Yeah. <laughs> this is an email, I think it's kind of small for here, that I got from an 80-year-old woman. And she said how much she loves this project. I don't know how she got on the internet, but she figured it. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So, but she says how much she loves hanging her head way back and swinging, which I thought was just as dangerous as the internet. <laughs> Our favorite email of all time that we get from the city of St. Petersburg is to stop hanging swings. They say, if you keep hanging swings in our parks, we'll keep taking them down. So we keep hanging swings and they keep taking them down. Yeah. Dude. They also <laughs> send us emails saying, please come here and get your swings. And we think it's a trap, so we never go. <laughs> I, think, 
our all-time favorite story is we're about 2 a.m. in South St. Pete um, trying to hang a swing. We're in the car, still kind of scoping out some spots, and a police officer literally came out of nowhere up behind us um, and pulled us over. It took about 20 minutes to explain that we were here to hang a swing. Um, he didn't believe us. He thought we were trying to sell drugs or something. Um, every time I would reach to the back to say, I got rope here, he'd pull his gun out. He's like freaking out. So... Um, but the next week, I'm sitting in city council, um, just in the audience, and Leslie Curran, who's the city council chairwoman, calls me out and says, oh, we love Ruben for us, swings and everything he does and everything. So we get these mixed messages from the city. But we like to say this goes from whoop whoop to whoop whoop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I think it's been two years now that we've been in this relationship with Swings. It's hard to say. I'm not good with anniversaries. But (laughs) it's been an unbelievable adventure. It started so simple. And having fun and being open to change is what made this project into something massive, massively powerful, and still completely simple. Oh. And we want to share that with the world. So we're working with a lot of <laughs> we're working with a lot of cities around the world uh, to share this project and bring the simple tool for community cohesion to communities around the world. We want to leave you with a few messages and things that we've learned throughout the project. We can't stress enough how important it is to just have fun yes. with what you're doing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> If you're not having fun, quit your job and go find something you actually want to do. Ah! (laughs) Stay curious. The more curious you are, the more you can learn, the more you can help people solve problems, the more things you can do. And stay connected to everybody. Make as many connections as possible. And finally, remember how easy it is to start something like this. We did this off of originally pocket money, and we then got $1,000 to get it started. In return, I've started an organization, I've got 10 different trustees that all donate $1,000, and we give $1,000 away a quarter to an awesome idea like this in St. Pete. And you can find that at awesomestpete.com. Our next deadline's October 1st, so you got just enough time to come up with something and give it to us. And we'll give you $1,000 to make it happen. Thank you for being here. It says a shitload, pardon my French, for you guys to be here. You really care about this community. And to be here and listen to our story, that means a lot to us. And I might cry a little bit after this. Thank you very much for listening to our story about Swing Stamp. Thank you so much for the opportunity. (laughs) Nice work, dude. Nice work. Thanks, Sam. Nice work, dude.